Yeah, I just want to have a little discussion about what's going on. We see a lot with New York's gun laws. Since the Bruin decision, it would seem like many have been dejected by the lack of any results. It's like we still don't have the right to exercise our Second Amendment. We're getting buttfucked by the courts, by the politicians, the court system, the court process, the length of time it takes, the fact that politicians, the only recourse we have for their infringement on constitutional right is to vote them out in the election, the failure of those who support Second Amendment in the recent midterm election is extremely unfortunate. That's something we have to work on. We have to work on getting out the vote more. But now it would seem we have a few cases that are turning and turning and we could possibly have some results, some change effective in 2023. Today, December 31st, New Year's Eve, you know, we have a lot to be thankful for considering post brewing on June 23rd, many things have changed. For individuals who don't have their Second Amendment right to bear arms, can't carry concealed, can't possess in their home, like myself who live in New York City, it's extremely problematic, but still yet, yeah, even so, we do have a lot to be thankful for. We just have to be a little bit patient and join the fight, support these gun groups, GOA, Second Amendment Foundation, FPC, NRA, you know, the New York chapter of the NRA. We just have to keep on fighting the good fight and letting these people know that we are here to fight for our rights and we won't be treaded upon. So an important case to watch is the Antonia versus Hochul. In that case, we had Judge Sotheby already made a decision for the preliminary injunction to enjoin New York on many facets of the CCIA. Specifically, the one I'm watching is the good moral character. What else was there? The good moral character, some of the sensitive locations. Many aspects of the CCIA were challenged. The social media clause, yes. The, what else? The training requirement, many of these. I doubt the training requirement was enjoined though, but many other facets of the law were enjoined and Second Circuit, unsurprisingly, ran right in and put the hold on the enjoyment so it did not go into effect. After Judge Sotheby gave about a 180-something page response as to why New York's laws were unconstitutional, the Second Circuit came right in and, and stopped the enjoyment, put a stay on the enjoyment from going into effect, with little more than a few sentences, no explanation whatsoever. But after waiting for a few weeks, we see the plaintiff and their attorneys filed petition the Supreme Court to have a look at this Second Circuit's actions to see if they overstep their bounds and to understand in that what New York is doing is unconstitutional as defined by Bruin and Heller and McDonald and other cases previously, but yet they're still taking these steps and the Second Circuit seemingly are allowing them. We have now Justice Sotomayor taking a look at this issue, even though she isn't on our side, she's taking a look at the issue and it would seem she has to take a fair look at the issue because if she does not, those who had seek the petition from SCOTUS have the right to seek, to have the right to petition another one of the um, justice on the Supreme Court, specifically, most likely, you know who. But yeah, so that's just something we're out watching for. Can't wait. There should be a decision Coming shortly, Justice Sotomayor has informed New York that they have until the 3rd of January to state 
written their reasons why they think that the stay should be upheld until the end of the case. So that's definitely something we look forward to. We look forward to reviewing what New York right, what direction they take to defend what they know is clearly unconstitutional. That's something we're definitely looking forward to see on Tuesday, I believe. And after that, to see what direction SCOTUS go in if they take this instance to put their foot down and let the courts and politicians and the citizenry fully aware that they are here to defend the Second Amendment right. It is not a second class right, as Justice Thomas has stated. And that it's not going to be like previously where Second Amendment cases were not taken up for years on years on years. We're going to see now if the SCOTUS is truly willing to step in and defend the decision that they have upheld in the Bruin decision on June 23rd, 2022. Yeah, thank you very much. Stay tuned. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in more Second Amendment content. Thank you very much, and have a happy new year.